This is part two to the Null Sleep uh, LSDJ tutorial, video tutorial. If you haven't watched part one, I suggest you do so. Um, in this part, we're going to be um, going through the section adding drums to the mix. So this will be similar to creating the initial melody in a lot of ways. The first thing you will have to do again is go to the song screen and go to the first row, but the third column. This is the voluntary waveform channel. This is where you can use the sample drum kits built into LSDJ. So hold A and press up twice. This should add chain 20 to the song in the channel in channel 3. While still leaving space for some chains, you can add the second channel later. Next, go into the chain screen and add some phrases like you did for the melody in the first channel. Then use the select and d-pad to go into the phrase screen. So we're just going to hold select and press right. This is our chain screen now, and now we're in our wave chain. Uh, I'm just going to make two, um, but double tap A, and this will give you a new uh, phrase that you haven't used because we've already used one and two so now we need to use um, well actually we can use two and three because we haven't used two and three um, okay so then once you've made your um, your phrases uh, hold select and press right uh, here's where things get a little different move the cursor to the first spot in the column with the eye marked before it this is the instrument column. Hit A and hold it and press up once. This should set the instrument to 10. So this is this middle column with the I. Just hold A and press up. Now we have instrument 10. Go into the instrument screen and change the setting for the type to kit by using A right. So just hold select and press right. And now you're going to come up to type. You're going to hold A again and it'll go to wave and then to kit. And this is where we want to be. Uh, the kit settings should now appear beneath the type. You can change these to whatever drum kits you would like to use. Play around with the other values in here for volume, length, and speed if you like also. Then go back to the phrase screen and start building your beat. Here, instead of notes, you will see letters appear like BD, SD, CLP, standing for bass drum, snare drum, and clap respectively. So we're just going to keep it at um, TR-606, but these are just references to uh, sample drum kits, or drum machines rather, um, the TR-606, the TR-707, the TR-727, TR-808, TR-909, and so on and so on. And there's a lot, um, and they depending on what kind of different kit you, you want to use, um, some of them are actually voice samples, um, Acid and Ghetto, uh, AA, these are um, just phonetic sounds that you can actually use, and these are animal sounds. So if you decide that, that, that you can use an animal sound or other sounds if you want to experiment, um, the Ghetto sounds are pretty funny. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go back. Um, now that we have made our instrument 10 uh, drum kit, we'll go back. So hold select and press left. And now you see that the note column is 2. And if you tap A, and you can hear that's a, it's a bass drum. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm just going to set up your typical um, dance uh, song beat. And we'll just... Uh, we'll just add some other things in the uh, in our second column. Uh, we'll add a snare drum to the first and ninth, and then we'll put a yeah. This is just pretty basic, um, and it's probably not even gonna be great, but let's let's hear it anyway.
like I said, not great. We actually don't even need a second chain because I'm just going to let this um, this chain loop twice. So. Okay. You will probably also notice that you have two columns for entering drum be beats rather than just the one you had for entering notes into your melody. This is because LSD features soft mixing the use of two samples simultaneously, in effect giving you an extra channel use for your drums. After playing around with the kits for a while, you will quickly figure out that all the what all the abbreviations represent. Get back to the song screen once you are done and hit start to hear your melody playing back with a beat. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, just hold select and press left twice. Now we're back in our song screen. So. If you hit start, our pulse one channel will play with our wave channel. Pretty pretty primitive setup sounding right now, but I mean this is just a basic tutorial, so um, but we can take this we can make this beat even better by combining the samples with some action in the noise channel. Get over to the fourth column in the song screen and create a chain and fill it with some phrases. You should know how to do this by now. Um, you should. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this, let's just make this 30 and then we'll add uh, double tap A and we'll make this, um, since we didn't use 3, we'll just go ahead and use 3 and we're just going to use it twice because again I'm not going to write an entire song. Well making this tutorial. Um, okay. Once you're in the phrase screen, try putting a C5 on every other step starting with the first one. Also make sure you're using a new instrument number for this. 1A is good. So let's do that. And we'll make... We'll make 1A and we'll just for every other okay if you listen to this now it probably sounds like static drop down into the instrument screen and adjust the length to a very small value so let's go ahead and do that um, highlight 1A and hold uh, select and press right now we also want to change the instrument type to noise so to do that hold A and press left until you have noise up as the instrument type um, and we're just going to change the length uh, and let's let's change it to let's change it to a value of 20 um, now you should have a very now you should have a closed hi-hat type sound going. Experiment with the other th settings here, like shape, to get some explosive sound effects. So let's just check it out at 20. We could actually probably go even lower. And let's do, um, let's try 15. There we go, that sounds a little bit better. So, through the noise channel, you can make your own... Um, percussion instruments, but there is a lot more you can actually do. Um, so let's go ahead and see how it sounds with our our melody and our drum kit and now our added hi-hat. Well, not particularly great, but not bad. <laughs> okay, that was part two of the tutorial. Um, next we'll be tackling, we'll be doing the section filling the loop in.